On that day, Jesus Christ is going to sit on his throne. The throne that God has appointed for him. He's going to sit on that throne. And all the nations are going to be gathered together before him. Before his own throne, Jesus Christ. On that day, sir, you're going to stand before him. And you're going to realize how you've wasted your life serving the devil. We're here, sir. We care about you. We love you, sir. We love you. We want you to be saved. We want you to be born again, sir. There's a life in Christ Jesus. The Bible says, at the time appointed, God sent his only begotten son to die for sinners. On the cross, Jesus bled for you. He died for you. He suffered for you. He wailed that agony, that painful cry on the cross for you, for me. But what does that mean to you? What does that mean to you? How does that apply to you? Is there anything you have to do? Of course, there's something you need to do. You need to believe. You need to believe. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. You need to repent from your sins. Believe is not just a head knowledge. Believe changes you, changes your mind, changes your lifestyle. If you believe in the Son of God, you have life. If you don't believe in the Son of God, you do not have life. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the truth. Jesus Christ is the life. And he's coming back to judge the world in righteous standard. According to God's righteous standard, Jesus Christ is going to judge the world. It will be a terrible day on that day to be a sinner. Today is the day of grace. Today is the day of salvation. Right now as we speak, people are burning in hell. People are burning in hell right now as we speak. So you don't want to go to hell. You need to come to your senses. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind the spirit that is influencing you now. I bind the works of that spirit. I command your eyes to be open to the truth. The blindness over your mind, I command it to be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Come to your senses. Save yourself from this wicked generation. This generation is going to hell. Hell. Hell that is burning in hell, that is weeping in hell, that is gnashing of teeth in hell. You don't want to be in hell forever and ever and ever and ever and ever in hell fire. Come to your senses. Awake unto righteousness and Christ is going to give you life. Christ is going to give you a new life. You're going to be born from on high by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost. God has laid on his son Jesus Christ the sin of us all, the iniquity of us all. Sir, I was once a fool like you. We were once foolish. We were once disobedient. We were once rebellious. We were once sinful. But the time that God's knowledge came into our soul, when God's knowledge came into our being, oh, we turned, we became born again. We received a new life. We received grace from God. We received salvation. We, uh, we walk up to righteousness. We put away the foolish things. We put away the childish things. We became born again. We became born of the Spirit. It can happen to you today. It's not too late for you. Today is the day of your salvation. Jesus Christ is calling you to repent. Repent for the kingdom of God is right here. Right here. It's not tomorrow. It's right here. Today is your own salvation day. Except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He cannot inherit 
the kingdom of God, except a man is born again, except you're saved, except your sins are washed, except your sins are forgiven, you cannot enter into heaven. You must be born again. You must believe in Jesus Christ. If you believe in any other religion, you're on your way to hell. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you're on your way to hell. If you're living in sin, you're on your way to hell. Hell, hell, burning, regrets, gnashing of teeth. But today is the day of grace, the day of God's grace. God's grace, what a beautiful grace, what a merciful grace, abundant grace. The blood of Jesus Christ, the blood that was shed for you, the blood that was shed for me, to wash away our sins. How he loved us and washed us in his own blood. We received the gift of life. We became a peculiar people. We became a chosen generation. We became a royal priesthood to God. We put away the foolish things. We put away the, the sinful things. Okay, there is deliverance, sir. There's deliverance in Christ Jesus. Your, de your demons can be cast out of you. The demons can come out of you, sir. There is deliverance in Christ. Deliverance in Christ. Salvation in Christ. Wouldn't you want to be saved? Wouldn't you want to be born again, sir? Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that the wicked shall be cast into hell. 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 And all the nations that forgot God are going to be cast into hell fire. And it is appointed unto man once to die. After that, the judgment day. You don't get to live twice. You live, you die once. And you wake up somewhere. There is eternity waiting on the other side. Eternity. Are you going to be in hell or are you going to be in heaven? We're here pleading with you to be born again, to be saved, to come on into the kingdom of God, to be washed of your sins, to be forgiven of your sins, to be saved, to be born again. If you reject him today, he will reject you on that day. If you accept him, if you embrace him, you're going to be saved, sir. You're going to be born again, sir. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ. Oh, how I love Jesus. Look at what Jesus has done in my life. He has forgiven my sins. He has delivered me. He has saved me. I have an inheritance in heaven where no thief can break through, where no moth can corrupt. If you're trusting riches of this world, riches make themselves wings. They fly away. On the day of your death, you cannot deliver your soul on the day of your death. Tonight, your life is required of you. Your soul is required of you tonight. And what are you going to say when you stand before God, when you stand before Jesus Christ? What are you going to say to him? He's going to judge your life. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Fornicators, adulterers, homosexuals, idolaters, porn watchers, masturbators, drunkards. You have no inheritance in the kingdom of God. You're having sex outside marriage, you're going to hell. You're getting drunk, you're going to hell. You're listening to wicked music, you're going to hell. You're living with a man, a woman that is not your wife, not your husband, you're going to hell. You're telling a lie, you're going to hell. You're taking advantage of the poor, you're perverting justice, you're perverting judgment, you're going to hell. Awake unto righteousness. 
The time is way past for us to be sleeping. We need to awake unto righteousness. We're in the late hour of the day. The age is wrapping up. God is going to send his son Jesus Christ through the cloud. He's going to descend down from heaven. As he went up into heaven, he's going to come down. But that day, he's not going to come to have mercy on God on us. He's, come, he's going to come as a judge from God. God has committed all judgment into the hands of his son, Jesus Christ. We are going to answer to Jesus Christ. It is Jesus going to judge your life. Your mother's dressing, exposing yourself. He's going to judge your life. Going to the pool with bikini. He's going to judge your life. He's going to cast you into hell. 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 Hot hell. Burning hell. Tormenting hell. You need to be saved from hell. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Who forgave all my sins, who washed me in his own blood, who healed me of my sicknesses, who delivered me from hell. He delivered me from destruction, the destruction of hell. He will not leave his holy one in hell. He will not let him see corruption. Jesus Christ came in the same flesh, in the same body like you and I have. He suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, rejected, despised. He was buried in a rich man's tomb. But three days later, he came back to life. He was raised from the dead. He was raised from the dead. How many of you know what a demon looked like? If you don't know what a demon looked like, just come close to us, look in front of us. This man is manifesting demons. That's what it looks like, demons. If you reject God, you're going to be, inv you're going to be invaded by demons. And that is what we're seeing with this man in front of us today. So you need to be born again. You need to be saved from your own sin. Jesus Christ can give you life. Jesus Christ can save you. Jesus Christ can deliver you. If you reject him, it's going to be terrible for you on judgment day. Or oh, the man is under the hook of the gospel. He couldn't go away. He can't go away. He keep going on in circle. It's under conviction of God. Do not resist the Holy Spirit. Do not harden your heart. You can be saved. Today is the day of your salvation. Tomorrow is not, too, is not promised for you. Tomorrow can be too late for you. This is your own day. This is your own day. I have good news for you. This is your own day of salvation. God can make a righteous person out of you. Our righteousness is not of ourselves. Our righteousness is of the Lord. You can become righteous. You can become holy. Even today. Your blind eyes can see today. Your lost estate can be recovered. And you can truly say, I was blind, but now I see. I was lost, but now I'm found. 